Hello everyone, my name is Jackie. In this video, I'm showing you guys how to deal with GTA 4 where you probably get stuck with 512 megabytes VRAM like this, even if you use RTX 4090. And you cannot do changes to the settings as well. The game will tell you that you are running out of VRAM. Even worst is that the game has lot of stutters. So let's get started. After you close the game, and then open your browser. Click the link that I put in the description for this GitHub page. By the time I'm recording this video, version 2.0 is the latest version available here. You can download it by going down and look up for this file. After you have done, extract the file that you just downloaded. And then open the folder. Go to DXVK 2.0 and then open X64 folder. We want to select two files from here, and that's DXGI and D3D9.dll. Right click and select cut. After that, we need to paste these two files into our GDA4 folder. Go to your game installation folder, like in this case I launch it from Steam. So I will go to Steam installation directory. Open the GDA4 folder. And then just paste these two files here. After that, we need to create a config file for that. Go to your start menu and open notepad. Copy the line that I put in the description, and paste it here. And then save the file. Make sure the directory path is correct. Name the file as dxvk.con and then f. And then change it from .txt file to all files. Hit the save button there. We are done with Vulkan API. Another thing that we can do is to allocate more RAM to this game. For that, open the PC folder. And then open this stream.ini file with notepad. We need to change to default value from 2048 to 4096 for each one you see here. Keep the 00, 0 value intact. After that, save the file. Now it's time to fix the VRAM. Go to your start menu and type in DXDAG, and then press enter. Select render tab. Scroll down and note your VRAM amount here. Like in this case, I have 6012 megabytes. After that, go to your GDA4 page on Steam. Click on this settings icon here and select properties. Copy the launch commands that I put in the description, and paste it here. Change the number from 2048 to your VRAM amount that we just saw earlier. And then try launching the game. That's it. I hope this video was helpful, and if it does, feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.